Sheila. Oh, where is she? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Sheila. And how are you today, then? You're early. Yes, well, lots to do. Mountains to climb, executive decisions to make. Guests are living to rest on the unyielding saw. Well, there's no sense in hanging about. Right, how's the supplement? Well, I was just working <coughs> on it. Excuse me a second. Now, just a minute, Sheila. Now, I don't want to upset you or anything, but I must make some mention about your dress. Now, as editor, it is my responsibility to remind you that the Bellstow Weekly is an upmarket publication, and we must all strive to maintain standards. I mean, what would Lady Bellstow think if she stole in for a quick roll visit and found us all dressed like choir boys? But, Norman, it's my little sisters. Your little sisters? Come on, Norman, to the loading bay. Oh, and bring those old clothes with you. Oh, I don't know, a delivery boy sometimes, not an editor. All this jumble and bricker back. Oh, I definitely have to have words with her. Ah, there you are. Now, what are you up to, Sheila? Norman Wallace, come on down. Oh, very, very funny. Now, what do you want me to do with these clothes? Oh, just stick it there. Right, jump down. Oh, jump down sorry. and stand behind me and put your arms under my arms. Whatever for? Oh, don't tickle, Norm. I'm sorry. Right, through the sleeves. I do wish you'd tell me what's going on. You'll see in a minute. Is that all right? Right, that's it. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, that's very good. Oh, that's very nice. Try it. Hello, an old devil, Dorbin's little brother. Hello, Neville. Hello, Alice. Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Sabbat Janet. Sabbat Janet who? <laughs> Sabbat Janet evening. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Amos. Amos who? A mosquito. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Anna. Anna who? Anna the mosquito. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Rupert. Rupert who? We'll put your left leg in. Your, your left, left leg, leg out. out. In, out, in, out. You shake it all about. You do the okey dokey and you step back around. That's what it's all about. Ooh, the okey dokey. Ooh, the okey dokey. Ooh, the okey dokey. Knees and then dog stretch, bra, bra, bra. <laughs> So that's how you make a little brother or sister. All you need is an old smock or jacket worn the wrong way round and a friend. Uh, Norman, you're miles away. Norman! What? Oh, sorry, sorry. What's the matter? Oh, nothing I can tell you really, Sheila. It's um, strictly confidential. Oh. Well, now you've asked me, I suppose I could tell you. It's, um... Rosalind? Who is Rosalind? She's your girlfriend. Yes, yes. I met her last night on the bus going home. Sheila, she is just beautiful. She's so intelligent. She's articulate. She's just fantastic. Sheila, she's just great fun. Uh, you met her yesterday? Yes, on the bus going home. And we, we just talked and talked. I, I, I missed my stop. Ended up at the bus depot. Uh, is that where she lives? I don't know. I didn't ask. You don't think that was a mistake, did you? Uh, I shouldn't think so. Oh, right. Th there is one other thing, Sheila. Um, now, I've invited her tomorrow night round to my place for dinner. Tomorrow night? Yes. <clears throat> and I, um, have never cooked, cooked to dinner for a lady before. Um, I mean, someone, especially, you know, someone who's intelligent and beautiful. What kind of food does she like? Well, she said she liked, she said she liked Chinese. She said when she was in China, she developed a taste for it, um, especially noodles. Noodles? No problem. Watch it. Here to make the noodles for us is a top chef from London, Mr. Ho. There's the dough. It's just flour, water and a little salt. Now before your very eyes, he'll transform the dough into noodles. A skill that took five years to master.
There we are, noodles, all ready for the cooking pot. Oh, that was great. Now, what about the rest of the meal? Wait a minute. You expect me to supply you with an entire menu? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, it is very, very important. Yes, I'd like a... Number 32 with noodles. What is it? Chicken sweet and sour. OK. Eat it. Chicken sweet and sour coming up. Oh, right. Uh, when shall I come back? About five, ten minutes? Ah, uh, wait a minute. This isn't a Chinese takeaway. You can stay and help and take notes. Oh, all right, it's for then. your benefit. Right, chop up half an onion. And I'll chop up half a green pepper. Right. Now, mind your fingers. Yep. Now, the good thing about this is you don't have to do it too small. Oh, is this all right, then? It looks perfect. Rosalind will just love it. Here we are. Almost there. One onion. And now for some washed button mushrooms. How many? Um, seven or eight. Depends how big they are. And chop those in half. Have a bit of practice, Norman. Oh, all right. And I'll put a tablespoon of oil into the frying pan. And heat that up. Okay. Now, Norm, if you can bring the vegetables over. Right, just wait. Perfect. In they go. Don't do the mushrooms all right. Immaculate. Oh. Right, now bake and fry together for about four minutes. Of course, the Chinese would do this in a wok. Oh, yes. You must never run before you can wok. Uh, yes, Norman. Right. Well, leave those to fry, stirring occasionally. Now, the corn flour. A dessert spoon of corn flour. Now, just blend that with a tablespoon of water. What's that for? That's to thicken the sauce. Stir that in. And when you've blended it, you add it to about two tablespoons of chicken stock. Two tablespoons of chicken stock. And that's just a corner of stock cube with boiling water poured over it. Then a dessert spoon of tomato puree. In that goes. A dessert spoon of soy sauce. Soy. I to take the short time. Stir that in as well. And a tablespoon of sugar. Blend it all together. And I'll just take that over to the vegetables. It's very nice. They're doing nicely. And Add that to them. Give it a stir. Oh, can you bring over the uh, cooked cube chicken? Oh, right, yes. That's 250 grams of cooked cube chicken. <sighs> Enough for two people, really. Uh, Sheila, I think we've made a mistake here, you know. That's green peppers, onions and the chicken. No, that's a 28. I asked for 32 sweet and sour. I'm coming to that, Norman. Oh. First of all, the sweet, that's the pineapple. A hundred grams of cubed pineapple, plus the juice, I'll about a third of this tin. In goes the juice. And for the sour, wine vinegar. Oh. One and a half tablespoons. Wine vinegar. And then you just leave that to simmer for about 15 minutes. And stir that occasionally. Oh, she that smells delicious. Oh, yes, very, very good. There we are. That wasn't too difficult, was it? But if you think I'm coming round to cook it for you, you're wrong. Of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. No, I don't think Rosalind have any difficulty making this. But I thought you were going to... Oh, never mind. Mm. Sheila, that was champion. Well, I'm sure Rosalind will love it, even if she does end up cooking it for you. Well, that's a good point.
Do you think you ought to get us some sort of thank you present? I mean, nothing ostentatious. I mean, something tasteful but modest. I mean, girls like presents, don't they? Uh, they like jewellery. Ah, well, it's a good idea, she, but I mean, jewellery's a bit expensive. Well, what about jewellery that costs next to nothing and is made entirely from glue? Glue? Yes, gluery. You could say that it would cement your relationship. Oh, yes, that's a good idea, yes. Make it. <laughs> Gluery. What you need is a nice smooth work surface, but don't use your mum's best table. I've got a piece of melamine cover board, a tube or a pot of natural rubber based glue, like these, and for a bit of sparkle, glitter. Right, ready to create. Now I fancy some zigzag earrings, so use the tube for that. Nice, sharp zigzag. Now, what you have to remember, though, is don't get your elbows in this because although it comes off really easily from the board, it doesn't come off so easily from your clothes. Right, zigzag. Two ears. Then a bit of the old twinkle. Now, you can be really generous with this. Make sure it's well covered because any that doesn't stick, you can brush off and reuse for more glue Number one, number two coming up. How about a badge? A glob from the pot. Pour that out. Then spread it out. A bit of modern art. Necklace, coming up. Diamonds, use your imagination. Go mad. Twenty-four hours to dry. I can't wait that long. You'll have to, Norman. Come mm. on. Great. They're set. So all you have to do is peel them off the board. Just a little something to catch people's eyes. And then to hold them in place, all you need is a hook or a screw. And you can get these from a craft shop. And there you can hang them with those. Now, what do I fancy? A badge. Ease them a bit. 
perfection. And to hold that in place, turn it over, and then on the back, just whap on an old safety pin. Now remember though to put the sticky tape the right side, and that's on the bit that stays still. So just kind of ooze it through. That should hold it. Hmm. There you are. Now, where's Norman? Uh, I won't be a moment. Morning, Sheila. Her timekeeping is dreadful. Hello. What's this? Oh. oh, Sheila. Oh, what can I say? Give her these with your love. Oh, thank you much, Sheila. Thank you. Wish me luck. Good luck. Yes, tonight's the night. Will Rosalind turn out to be Miss Wright? And will Norman find true love over a plate of noodles? And if so, will she agree to tie the knot? Or will Norman find himself in a romantic tangle? And what with being editor of the Bellstow Weekly, hasn't he got enough on his plate? Look out for the next edition of Do It. And if you want a copy of the supplement, write to the Bellstow Weekly, PO Box 100, Maidstone, Kent.